Okay guys, in this video we are going to be learning about generators which is a new feature in ES2015. Now about functions. One thing we are sure of is that once they start executing it will always run to completion before any other code can run. However, ES6 generator is a special type of function which can be paused in the middle of execution, run some other code and then resume the same function from where we left off. And this pausing of execution is possible with the help of a new keyword known as the yield keyword. So let's understand this with an example. Now the syntax of a generator is very much alike a function. So we just have the function keyword but the only difference is after the function keyword we have an asterisk. So function asterisk and then name of the function. So let's have create generator as the name and this is going to make use of this yield keyword and I'm going to explain in just a minute what this means after first yield and then we're also going to have yield 2. So what we are basically doing here is that in this generator first we are going to yield the value 1 this number 1 and then the execution is going to pause and the generator is going to resume its execution when we again tell it to continue its execution. So then it's going to execute these two lines of code. So console.log as well as yield2. So basically with every execution it is going to hit the next yield point. So this is going to be the point where this function is going to pause. So now we can create a reference to this generator. So let mygen is equal to create generator. And this is just going to provide us with a reference. It's not going to start executing this function. Now to invoke this function or start execution, we need to call the next method on the generator. So mygen.next. So now when I run this, and head over to the console, we are provided with an object. The value is 1 and done is a boolean flag set to false. And this is very much like what we saw with iterators. So over here the only difference is that done will be set to false when it reaches the last yield statement or there are no more yield statements in this generator. So I can call this again. So let's call it twice and now let me also clear the console and run this and there you go. So object value 1 done false. So that was called after this first next method and the execution was paused. And then these two lines were executed for the next method. So we have after first yield and object value 2 done false. And finally when we call this next method again it identifies that there are no more yield statements and hence done is set to true and the value is undefined. So only when there are no more yields done is set to true and the value is undefined. So basically generator is a special function capable of pausing and resuming execution with the help of this yield keyword. So now that we know what a generator is, what do we use it for? Now if you look here a generator returns an object that provides the same next method that is expected by a for off loop. So generators can be used to simplify our code when we write our custom iterators. For example, a custom iterator which we wrote in the last video to iterate over an object. So we had this custom iterator in the last video to iterate over a simple object and instead of having to write so much of code we can use a generator to simplify this and I have replaced it already so over here the person symbol dot iterator remains the same and we obtain all the properties but from then on so count is done and implementation of the next method all that is handled by this generator so I replace function by just a function asterisk and properties remains the same and now since we have a collection of properties I can use a for off loop let t of properties 
and then yield is going to be made use of. So this is going to yield each key and we are going to be making use of the value at each key. So this is basically yield first name and yield last name. So now the console is blank. When I run this, head over to the console, we get Chandler and Bing. So this is one really useful feature of generator to be made use when we write our custom iterators. And there, there are a lot more, or there is a lot more to generators, but I recommend you to go through some online documents for that. And well, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.